State lawmakers are trying again this year to require sheriffs in North Carolina to honor detainer requests from federal immigration and customs enforcement. Sheriffs in the state's six largest urban counties, including Wake and Durham, have refused. A bill that passed a key committee today would make that illegal now. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the legislative building with the latest on this. Laura? Lena, House Bill 10 would force sheriffs to honor ICE detainer requests, even if somebody is about to bond out or has completed their sentence. It would also add misdemeanor assault to the list of charges that require a sheriff to check someone's immigration status. ICE holds are voluntary. They're not required by federal law. And sheriffs in Wake, Durham, and four other counties were elected in part on promises not to honor them. The bill would make that illegal under state law. Twice in the past four years, GOP lawmakers have passed a similar bill. And Governor Roy Cooper vetoed it both times, due in part to concerns it could lead to undocumented people being deported over a traffic stop. Representative Destin Hall says that wouldn't happen. It would only apply to violent crimes. Murder, rape, kidnapping, human trafficking, um, gang crimes, drug crimes, that sort of thing. And so these are folks who are, who are here illegally, who have been arrested for the kind of crimes that I just described, and they are already in uh, a county jail because of that. At a committee meeting today, Chris Story told lawmakers she lost her brother to a drunk driver in 2011. The driver was an undocumented immigrant, and as soon as he made bond, she said, he fled. She says the bill would help keep dangerous people behind bars. There are thousands of Americans killed every year, and in many cases, like my case, would get no justice. But Brianna Garcia with El Pueblo said it would make communities less safe because immigrants, documented and undocumented, would be afraid to call law enforcement. Our concerns with House Bill 10 is that this is going to lead to an over-policing in our Latinx community, as well as labeling all of those who are undocumented as criminals. Representative Deb Butler said lawmakers should respect sheriffs and voters' decisions. We like small government, we like local government, but only when it suits our purpose and when these sheriffs exercise their judgment and behave in a way that they know best in their uh, communities, we tell them that that's not acceptable. Uh, the bill did pass that Judiciary Committee today on party lines with Republicans supporting it and Democrats opposed to it. It could be on the House floor for a vote as soon as tomorrow. Lena? All right. Keep us posted. Laura Lester reporting live for us. Thank you.